you see the hole in the window where the device came through and you look down on the ground and you say, at 4.30 this morning, what, what possessed this person to throw this device this way when the rabbi and his wife were sleeping peacefully in the room? I wouldn't be targeted because it was such a low-profile synagogue. Uh, but that's the shocking point that we were talking about. Well, like a, a ball of fire came through our window at 4.30 in the morning and uh, fire burst out everywhere. My blankets and the window panes and the carpet and... Uh, he woke, when he woke up, his blankets were on fire. <laughs> so, I had to take the blankets. Immediately my action was I have to suffocate the flames. So I turned the blankets yeah, onto each other and then I, the window pane was on fire. I went over there, put that out. And then I saw that this wasn't just a fire, an external fire, but this was a, a terrorist attack. And I knew that was going to be happening because it happened in other parts of the area as well. Um, and then by that point, my carpet was still on fire, so I ran to get a fire extinguisher, put that out, and I was spraying outside because I saw a fire coming from other places. And my wife called the uh, police, and uh, because she got the kids too safe. And uh, even though this was really an attack on us, you know, on myself, and it, was, you know, it really is like an attempted murder. Uh, uh, I understand it's not just on me; it was basically an attack on a somebody in Jewish I can't say what they found, but they did find evidence. Um, and is there anything uh, you would like to tell the Jewish community? You know, well, uh, I'd just say beware of people that are stalking. Obviously, it must have been stalked out for a few weeks because they knew where my bedroom was and stuff. Like that. But uh, they should beware. Okay. And, and don't think it can't happen to you. It can happen to us. And we're really it's a very low profile. Synagogue. Like, in a case like this, uh, our message to the Jewish community is, uh, number one, um, you know, we're grateful to the law, to law enforcement for the work they're doing. We, uh, to the Jewish community, we ask that they, they if, if not now, when, in Moyach Shavei Masai, right, to, to really pay attention to security. And um, we also uh, tell people that they should go to Shul on Shabbos. They should go to Shul, they should go to the JCC. Uh, they should take their children to schools and yeshivas tomorrow morning, um, and uh, they should be extra careful. They have to pay extra attention to their surroundings, but they should not let these terrible incidents uh, affect our discuss work. Uh, with the yeshiva world exactly what um, what the latest is. Right. So this so what happened this morning was the was the fourth in a series of incidents that we. Uh, had in Burton County over over the last several weeks. Uh, and this morning's incident, according to police, uh, five uh, incendiary devices were used in an attack against a show in Rutherford. Uh, the uh, rabbi and his family live inside the home. He was there sleeping with his wife. He had five children in the home, and uh, he had his parents in the home as well. The, the device ignited. The rabbi was able to put the fire out. Uh, he, he did suffer a burn, um, but he is uh, recovering and he is okay, thank God. Um, put in a greater context, it's, a, it's, a, it's extremely chilling and it's a very severe incident because what we have is uh, any have a fourth incident, but each uh, the last several incidents have become have become increasingly serious. We had two incidents of vandalism, which included white supremacist graffiti. Then we had uh, arson outside of a synagogue that was that extinguished itself, and now this, uh, what the prosecutor is calling attempt enforcement. Um, resources have been made available and working on this, and, and for that we're, we're great. ADL has offered a reward of $2,500 for the of that uh, tip that leads to the, the arrest and prosecution of the perpetrators. It's horrible. I mean, it's horrible. You shouldn't have to worry about that stuff, you know, where people go to go to church and all. It's horrible, isn't it? Oh, around, I guess it was around 4.30, between 4.30 and 5.00. I've seen the rabbi being treated by the paramedics uh, or the ambulance squad, and uh, his wife was on the porch uh, on the phone, and I I seen one of the older children come out to the porch. I said, is everybody okay? She said, yes. And then uh, she got up the phone, and I said, are you all right? She goes, yes. And she said there was a, a loud noise and a big flare uh, that went off in their bedroom. And uh, I said, and it was out, you know. Uh, it was probably out before I even got here, you know, because they had every piece of apparatus here from the uh, local fire department. Neighbor, how, how does this make you feel? Well, it makes me feel concerned. Uh, you know, somebody's going around targeting uh, temples and schools. I don't particularly care for it, that's for sure. I don't think it should 
I don't think it should be in any county or any state you have to deal with this, especially when there's kids involved. And how many years are you living in this area? I'm in town 20 years. And is this the first time something like this happened? Yes, it is. And it's a very quiet community. I mean, we have a great police department here and uh, fire department and emergency response teams. And I I'm just surprised. And usually, like I said, usually there's a couple of officers that in, in the in the morning hours uh, sitting I, right there. I don't know why th this has happened here because this is a quiet neighborhood. I go back to that. It's a very quiet neighborhood. It's a nice neighborhood. That's uh, there aren't that many um, churchgoers that go there. To be honest with you, really? in the synagogue. So it's a small, you know, group of uh, you know uh, parishioners that go there. And I've known them for many years because I've been living here a long time too. So yeah. I know them. Surprised that this has actually happened here.